people on the board fortunately were did have money they were some well and that and they were the people that started the organization and this consisted of Amanda Blake and George and Shirley Rooney our funding was not the best I believe it was 1976 the Animal Welfare League was able to purchase Nan Douglas kennels. We were so excited. It was located at 40th Street in Washington. It was just made of chicken wire and wood and dirt, very little concrete. It was probably half the size of our present shelter. It worked. We had a little building we did adoptions out of. 50 dogs and 35 cats. Now that's a lot. I think the original foster home was started with the Avilases. And this is a family uh, of Joe Avilas, his wife Lorraine, and their daughter, uh, Janet Avilas, and they were wonderful. So the Avilas took care of these animals year round. Everybody was a volunteer. Nobody got paid except for the Avilas, and I don't think they acquired a fortune. They just cared about the animals. The Mutt Show was started by um, Amanda Blake and the board. Sato was, uh, I believe, Spanish for Mutt. Amanda adopted a little dog from the Animal League and named it Sato, which was sweet. And they were given awards for different categories, dog with biggest smile, cat with fluffiest tail, and I think they raised a lot of money that way. That helped to pay for this shelter, I'm sure. So this began the thought of wouldn't it be wonderful to have a shelter? And then we don't have to rely on foster homes. About 2000, I went down and got involved in the clinic cleaning kennels and prepping dogs and cats for surgeries. I got on the board and so that's what we talk about, getting a shelter. Since I joined the organization as CEO three years ago, our amazing staff and all of our wonderful volunteers and management team have worked together to save over 3,000 lives last year. That's triple what we did just three years ago. But one thing became very clear, we were at the maximum capacity of what we could possibly do with the facility we have today. So just as we were pondering our future, along came an email from a gentleman who asked to talk to me about a donation. So after several meetings, he told me that what he would like to do was to donate $2 million to us to build a new adoption center, and he would like us to dedicate it to his loved one. His only requirement was that we raise a million dollars in matching funds and that we keep his identity a secret. We are well on our way to making this dream a reality. We've bought a piece of land adjacent to our current facility and we've completed the planning process. We're planning to break ground on April 14th and hope to have the new building completed by the end of this year. Our new adoption center will allow us to increase the number of animals we save by an estimated 58% and will be a warm and welcoming place for families to visit to find their new pet. We'll also renovate our education and training center to enable us to expand our kids' camp programs and to offer training classes to the public. We are also planning to expand our small clinic, making it much larger and equipping it to handle many more surgeries and medical procedures. As for raising money, our capital campaign, entitled It's Raining Cats and Dogs, has already raised $2.3 million of our $3 million goal. Now I'm very excited about the new growth that we're going to have. The next step is, uh, is so exciting. The capital campaign set up for new growth, which is so needed right now with our shelter. We need to expand. It's so incredible, the numbers of animals that we adopt out now but we can do far better if we can expand. And Jim and I are so thrilled to be a part of this new growth, of the, of the new uh, uh, level that we're going to take the Animal Welfare League. So many of us under Judith's guidance and um, he and I are just looking forward to this new expansion and growth and it'll do nothing but help animals and that's, that's what we care about. We are so thankful that our co-chairs, Jim and Roberta Peterson, are so committed to helping AAWL and SPCA grow and to helping us save the lives of so many more homeless animals. Our future looks bright and promising. 